So if it's your first time raising chicks, they will come to you in a little box delivered to the post office, and you got to go get them right away because they can die on you. But they'll last overnight, and they only send them during the warm weather between, I don't know where warm where year is, but April to October. And you need some things. So the first thing you need is a way to contain them and keep them safe from predators. And these metal livestock tanks are perfect for that. This is a watering tank for livestock. You need sawdust or wood shavings, but the shavings must not be from conifers. They gotta be from, uh, I'm sorry, from um, cedar. They must be from pine. You need a way to keep them warm. Here's your heat lamp. I'm going to move that over here where their new home is going to be. And now I'm going to pick these guys up and put them over here. Now it's critical before I touch them that I wash my hands really well. Because you give them anything and they won't make it. They're susceptible to all kinds of bugs, especially at this age. So don't touch them with dirty hands. I keep the water on a little block above the sawdust to keep the water flowing. And I'm going to come here and grab these guys. Be free in your new tank. Okay, good job, everybody. Come on, you're okay. Come on. Come here, tank. Come here. Come on. Now, what I've got here is 25 laying birds, which means they specialize for their bread to lay eggs very well, and 25 meat birds, which means they were bred to put on a lot of body weight very fast. So laying girls, they will stay with us until they stop laying about two years. The meat birds, we will slaughter between 11 and 12 weeks. Maybe 11, 12, 13 weeks. And they make great chicken soup, chicken stew. We also soup the, the laying hens, but they're tough, tough. Man, once they get the year old, they are tough. Even six months, they're tough. All right, so here, another critical thing is the heat lamp if they're under the heat lamp, it means it's cold and they want the warmth. And if they're over there, it means you're cooking them. So if they're hanging away from the lamp, it's too hot in your tank. If they're hanging underneath it, you've got it too drafty. So I think this is too drafty for them. I'm going to put a little piece of cardboard on top of this to keep the air out. And here's another thing you're going to need. Some kind of fencing material. I'm using an old grill to cover the top to keep your cats out or other predators. Our cats are pretty good. They're not really big on killing our chicks, but I take no chances. Oh, I should mention. Other things you need in addition to the tank, sawdust, and the heat lamp are feeders and these little drip waterers. And a bowl won't do it. They'll drown in it. They'll poop in it. And, uh, these are better. They can't get in there and mess them up too badly. All right, so now they're kind of cool in the new home. I'm going to put that top one there. Right, here's my heavy duty predator protection device. Put it all the way. And then my handy dandy insulator piece of cardboard box. And then I'll look later and if the chicks are all over there then it's too hot in here, which I doubt. And if the if they're all under this light then I'll insulate it some more to keep them warm. They need to be warm. They like it to be about 90 degrees or you can put a thermometer in there and if it's 90 or it's 110 it's too hot. But they like it to 92 to 98 degrees. 90 is the minimum. Once they feather out at about two to three weeks, they can take a little less or a little more cold, but they can't go down to 30 or 40. They can maybe go down to 70 or 80. 
This is our facility for medium-sized birds. They're not chicks or they're, they're pullet size now. They will start to lay in about six weeks. And um, at this age, they're still kind of flighty. They can fly, where when they get a little older, they don't really like to fly, and I think it, the big ones really never fly. But uh, here we have a roof on this one, so any of my escapees goes in here. And there are 12 others over here. And these are golden comets. There's some kind of cross that uh, comes out of one of the major hatcheries. And they lay like crazy right through the winter. You get an egg per day per bird, which is very impressive. And they're the best converter from feed to eggs that I've ever seen. And they're not great for eating because they're just not that meaty, but man, can they put the eggs on the ground. So these birds are, I mean, they could move to the chicken yard now, but I'm going to give them a few more weeks in here, and then I'll clip the wing on one side. If you clip both sides, they can still fly, but if you clip one side, throws off their balance and they stay on the ground. But um, yeah, this is how we do it. These are finished out laying hens. They weigh about eight pounds. The smallest ones are about six pounds, but the average is about eight pounds. The big black ones might be 10 pounds, and those are dual purpose birds. But this is the size they'll reach in six months. The meat birds will reach 10 to 12 pounds in 12 weeks, so the, the growth rate there is just incredible. But you need a system of going from baby chicken a tiny tank to a week old chicken a bigger tank to a mid-sized bird that you can't put in here with them because the mid-sized birds will get beat up by the bigger birds. Now what we have here is a mobile containment area. This is just welded wire and we can move it by picking up the snakes. Pull the wire, and we move it probably, I don't know, 20 feet every couple of days, the whole thing. And we try to place it someplace where we're going to plant a garden, we'll plant something next year. You can see my raspberry patch back there. That was a, a smaller chicken holding area. And their manure leaves it very fertile. And by keeping them on grass, you cut your feed bill down tremendously because they'll eat grass, clover, bugs, everything they can, nut worms, whatever they can find.